Chapter 30, The American Pioneers. Five men, two women, and seven children left New Jersey in the summer of 1796 to become the first American settlers at Oswegatchie. Their hardships began at Schenectady, where they hired three boatmen. The leader was one of the small New Jersey group, Nathan Ford, Samuel Ogden's agent, who in 1780, at the age of 16, was Assistant Deputy Quartermaster General in the Revolutionary War. The group included, besides 32-year-old Ford, his Negro slave Dick, the ten members of the Lyon family, John Lyon, 43, his wife Martha Babbitt Lyon, 37, their seven children, Louis, 14, Aaron, 12, Sarah, 10, John, Jr., 9, Stephen, 6, Harvey, 5, and Elizabeth, 2. Rachel Lyon, 16, Lyon's daughter by his first marriage, Thomas Lee, 32, and Richard Fitzrandolph, 35. They left Schenectady on July 22nd with trade goods in two boats and traveled six miles up the Mohawk River to Mabee's Tavern. On July 23rd, they completed 10 miles in a heavy rain and reached Mills Tavern. They went 17 miles on July 24th to Connolly's Tavern. On July 25th, they traveled only three miles before meeting disaster at Katie's Rift. One boat carrying dry goods hit a rock and sank until the top of the cargo was five inches under water. The damaged craft was unloaded. On July 26th and 27th, the travelers dried out and repacked the dry goods and repaired the boat. They decided to send the ruined tea back to New York. They set out again on July 28th and traveled 12 miles to Neller's Tavern in heavy rain. On July 29th, they reached Little Falls, still proceeding in heavy rain. There, they left the tea to be returned to Schenectady and thence to New York. Also returned were two casks of wet powder. On August 1st at Fort Stanwix, they anticipated no trouble between there and Fort Oswegatchie, where Mr. and Mrs. Tuttle, hired by Ford, were preparing quarters for the little group.